Hey, welcome to the Solid Face Professional Training. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos. Now that we've finished our first set, the cannon, we're starting our next one, a press. We're starting from the bottom, which has two pieces that when added together will form our base. Opening a new part, we're selecting plane XZ, habilitating the rectangle command, selecting the center option, and moving it to the origin point. We're inserting the rectangle measures, starting from the axe X measure, which will be the piece's width. We're inputting 37.9, and then adding the axe Y measure, 86. Now we just confirm the dimensions. We're soon creating the holes on sketch because when we extrude it, the piece will already have its holes. So now we're habilitating arc circle command and selecting relative point. As those holes are centered on the piece, let's take the point in the middle of the thread as a reference. Please remember not to click over the point, but click only when the dashed rectangle symbol comes up. We're clicking again with any distance and inserting the circumference's radium as 4. When confirming the dimensions, we'll add the distance to the center of the circle as 8. To add the second hole, we need to select the circle, habilitate the copy command, add the center of the circle as the reference, and input the distance between the centers as 70. We can finish the sketch and take the dimensions visibility out. We're habilitating the extrude command and selecting a thread of this geometry. In the distance measure, we're adding the plate's thickness already converted to millimeters. The number will be 4.7625. As you can see, this operation has already been done to the whole piece. To transform the circles and holes, we'll select the option Profile Face and select a circle. After applying it to both circles, just click on OK and finish the operation. The piece will be extruded with holes. Now we're altering the material to carbon steel the same way we did to the cannon. Moving on, we're making the second part of the base, opening a new file on New Part. We're selecting the XY plane, and we'll draw geometry in the shape of an L. Remember that all measures are on the PDF file on this video description. If you haven't opened it yet, take the time to open the file and look at them. After drawing the geometry, we're applying the extrude command with the length of 86 and altering the material to carbon steel. Now that we have both parts drawn, we're forming the base. Opening a new assembly, we're inserting the necessary components. Firstly, habilitate coincident mate, like this, and then we're selecting the back face of the L plate. Then we're selecting which face it's going to be leaning on. Continuing with the coincident mate habilitated, we're selecting the lateral face of our L plate, and then we'll select the face it's going to be faceted. To finish this video, we're using the same command, selecting the upper face and the plates that will be faceted. And our press base is ready. Well guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos.